Beauty My Lord the King. Welcome back to my channel, Celine King Styles. Today we are going to tour the city of Badagri. We're going to move around the city of Badagri. We're going to start from the ancient buildings, ancient monuments, then over to the new buildings and new things that have been established in this Badagri. So we are off to our touring. And here with me today is um, Mr. Uche. He's going to drive me to the place. <laughs> Mr. Uche, say hello. <laughs> hello. Thank you, thank you. And this is my sister at the back. Because we move forward so they will see you. Hello. <laughs> so we are going to the place right now. First and foremost, we are going to go to the uh, first uh, Nigerian building. Exactly. Nigerian story building. That's the place we are going to go to. And so many other places we are going to visit today. So. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned because today is going to be very, very exciting. The first place we visited was the Slave Museum, also known as the Brazilian Barracoon. Barracoon is a Portuguese word that means slave's temporal confinement. This place was owned by a man called Sariki Abaz Williams. It was a kind of slave market whereby the slave merchants come to exchange slaves with their products. For example, an umbrella will be exchanged for 40 slaves, a ceramics plate will be exchanged for 40 slaves, a big cannon for 100 slaves, and so on. Okay. So these are some Ethiopian products they use in the exchange of slaves. In Nigeria, they the Spain carries. The white people cannot use our own money, and that's why they prefer to bring some items they use in the exchange of slaves. A value of an umbrella, 40 slaves. If you can have one umbrella, you will need to produce 40 every May. We still have one of the umbrella in our museum up to date. A bottle of gin, 10 slaves. A big can of gun, 100 slaves. Buy the small can of gun, 40 slaves. And what do they use the can of gun to do? We use it to wage war within ourselves then. Wow. So, the kettle and the beef and the brass dish are the items given to Seriki by the Brazilians as a gift. Milo doesn't have a specific number, depends how you can bargain with the white people. Okay. I may bargain with them with 10 slaves, why you may bargain with them with 2 slaves. Yeah. Ceramic bowl, 10 slaves. A dingo, 40 slaves. The exchange of slaves. A value of one bowl, 10 slaves. No matter how big it is, mm -hmm. and no matter how small it is, a Anybody, value of one bowl yeah. is 10 slaves. Yeah. So anybody that needs a five bowl will need to produce 50 slaves. Mm -hmm. If you need an umbrella then from the white men, you need to produce 40 slaves to have this umbrella. The value of one bowl is was 10 slaves no matter the size. This big chain was used on the adult slave, both male and female. The ankle shackles was used on the adults and this small chain was used on the children of the slaves. From the slave barracoon, we moved over to the Mobi Royal Family Original Slave Relics Museum Badagri to see other slave relics. Like this long chain that was used on about 40 slaves at a time. And also the slave drinking bowl. This bowl, 40 slaves will drink from this bowl at a time, according to the curator. From the Moby Museum, we were led to a port from where we will be taken to a place called Point of No Return. It's actually the Atlantic Ocean. Slave Port Badagri, 16th to 18th century. This was their entrance. Before, right now, it's no longer the entrance. So I think we're going to follow this way now 
to the entrance. But this was the entrance of this port. Slave brought Badagi. Let's move to the entrance. Oh, this is very interesting. Lagos State Government Ministry of Waterfront Infrastructure Development. There's a new entrance. I need to. Oh God, I'm really exhausted. <sighs> this story is not an easy thing. I'm feeling exhausted. Wow. So this is the port from here. We get to the point of no return. I'm so scared. <laughs> this is my first time I'm entering this kind of boat. Ha! <sighs> God do. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the port yeah this is the port from here right now we're going to move over to a uh, point of no return if you look at if you look at this uh, video very well you see the flying boat moving towards that direction i don't know if you can see the flying boat and that's the similar boat we're going to enter to get to the point of no return so I'm so scared. <laughs> I've not been, I've not entered flying boat in my life. This is my first time of entering flying boat. Just pray for me so that we we'll can get there safely. <laughs> pray for me so I get there safely. So, um, uh, one of the curators is going to bring a life jacket we're going to wear. So, right now, I'm going to wear the life jacket. So, <laughs> you will see what I've said. So, mm. so scary. He's now here with the life jacket, so I'm going to go.
whenever the slave's cargo ship has arrived and we are ready to transport the slaves to the master's country. Okay. We lead them out from the compound to the slave port and then they cross the lagoon with a paddle boat. So paddle boat? Yes. So once they get to this church here, the chain you saw at Moses level, the one connected to each other, the one that are very heavy that they use for the neck. Mm. So the chains were made available here. So they will use it for all the slaves. That means all the slaves are going to be on a single fight. And they have to take that to the point of no return. Okay. The only stopover they have is the attenuation where if they give them any water and they lose their memory. So once the slave get here, that's the starting point. But most they still have their memory there. Once they get to the attenuation where and they drink from the water. They lose their memory. Is it they drug the water or yeah, the water is like that? Like black magic. Yeah, black magic, okay. Point of no return. The next stop, attention. Attenuation well. Attenuation well, okay. Okay, let's move to the attenuation well. <laughs> Where they will lose their memory once they drink the water from the well. Let's go and see the place. We drink, we drink water from there. I know if you are going to lose our memory now. But one person is not going to drink so that <laughs> if every one of us loses the memory, the person will carry us home. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, this is going to be quite light. So this is the original spot, slaves, spirits, attenuation well. This is the place where, whereby the slaves, when they get to this place, they drink from this well. Once they drink from this well, they will have memory loss. So the reason the, it, they made this water was because the slaves were many. The slaves they were more than, they were, the minimum was 1,600. And this, um, Slave ship carry up to 2,000, 3,000 ship, depending on the capacity of the ship. So, when, once the slave master are taking the slave in, they believe the slave might easily kill them because the slave master were no more than 35 to 40. And okay. if they should go on the ship with, just, with that amount of slaves, the slave could easily kill them, carry the boat, and run away. Mm. So, they don't want that to happen. So, they met with the African chiefs. With the help of the African chiefs, they put black magic in this way. So whenever the slave drink it, mm. they lose their memory. But it's not permanent. It's just for like three or four months, depending on how long it takes for them to get to their um, destination. So when they get to their destination, that's when they will start to regain their memory. It was just to um, so restrain them for fighting when they are on the boat. So this water has been left like this since slavery ended because the people believe that it must still be effective. So since slavery has ended, nobody has tested this water from this water. They left it, and that's why it's like this water okay. was rejected. All right. So the next one. Uh, it's supposed to be rejected. Oh, it's oh. In Jesus name. Amen. This point of no return is far. <laughs> it's far from the lagoon. <clears throat> this distance is very very far. I'm exhausted. Very very exhausted. Wow. But well, we are approaching the point of no return. I can see a sign of a wrecked ship there. And this is the path that we are following. I'll show you the path. You can see the path from the back. I think this was the path that he really followed to the, the slaves really followed to the point of no return. We're getting to that place right now. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Very interesting sights. I'm going to show you everything that I can. All right. <sighs>
So now look on about Yana Chase. Hell, hell. They will know. They will be uh, unconscious now. Uh, they will be like dummy now. They will be like water. Uh, they will not even know this place. They cannot even know this place. Oh God, can you read this? I think the B and A is uh, off. The only thing we have here is A, G, R, Y. So it's Badagri Slave Root Unit. Is that unit? Point. Okay, point. Badagri Slave Root Point of No Return. Turn it to Unknown Destination. This is the place. So this is the point of No Return. But... The structure that you're seeing right now is actually constructed by the government to create a positive ambience of this place. The idea is to show that anybody that goes through this act will surely come back through the stairs. That, that is the, the idea. idea. But it's still under construction. They actually removed the arc of departure that was placed in this particular or that was built in this particular spot by the slave masters. They removed it and replaced it with this structure very close to the Atlantic Ocean. Can see from here. Have you liked my video yet? If you have not, please do like my video and subscribe to my channel. You can see the Atlantic Ocean from here. This is the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the structure that the government is constructing. We create a positive atmosphere that will wipe out the negative vibe of this particular place. Nobody is going out of this country again as a slave. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And bye for now.